Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we're doing Captain Your Country on the 2010 FIFA World Cup game. We're not going to do anybody famous, we're not going to do anybody memeable. I figured, because I did my Tim Leicester gameplay a couple of weeks ago, I found out that one of the players was actually one of the worst rated players I've ever seen in a game. So this guy here, Luis Maria, he's rated 27. Now I've never seen a rating that low before in a FIFA game. I've never seen anybody rated 27 for San Marino or anybody like that in Europe. You know, most of San Marino players are rated like 40, maybe 50, you know, sort of like halfway in between the 100 mark sort of thing. But this guy's rated 27. No, no disrespect to this guy. He's rated 27, and, and um, he, he's better than me because he's playing for an international team. But surely they've got someone better on the bench than this 27 rated player. I mean, they do already, but they're like, yeah, we'll put him on. So obviously he might be like one of these players that has potential, but like never realised his potential or whatever. So we're going to play as him today. We're just going to do a few matches and see how many goals we can score, how many assists we can get. Uh, he's kind of like, uh, he's a left centre midfielder, but he's actually a defender, because he's yellow on this. He's actually a defender. So, I don't know. Um, it's going to be a tough one. Look at his stats here. Like, you've got 8 curve, uh, finishing 16, um, heading accuracy, okay, that's not too bad. Jumping, yeah, that's okay. Long pass, 15. Long shots, 12. Marking, 42. Penalties, 20. Uh, reaction 62, so yeah, that's okay, I guess. Uh, shot power 62, not too bad. What's his worst stat? Like, oh my god, well, the goalkeeper in one, it would be like that, but yeah, that is... Some of these stats are horrendous. I think it's just gonna, like, start me off with a couple of friendly matches, which is what we want to do, to be fair. We just want to do a couple of friendly matches. We're not really looking to do anything serious at the moment. And our first Beeb International is against Djibouti. So hopefully we can pick up a win here. Hopefully our player will do well. Only rated 27, but that might favour us against, um... Djibouti. Djibouti aren't the most fantastic squad in the world. Let's see then if we can beat Djibouti in our first match. It's quite strange because like doing a friendly with um, Tim Alester, you have to go against like other teams from other continents like Djibouti or some Caribbean teams and stuff. But whenever I did it back in like European ones, like the B Internationals, it would always be a team that was in your group, like the David Beckham gameplay I did and um, who else did I do? I can't remember. Oh, Balotelli as well in 2014. Here comes Salvador now. I'm running with him. I shouldn't be going this far forward, but it doesn't matter. Oh, he's got it back. Go on. Oh, 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 oh I just passed it to me. Oh, oh, yes, we scored. Okay, but it wasn't me. But I, I initiated the pass because um, I pressed the A button to pass it to me. Went to Zito and Zito just slots it in. That was a good goal. He just came across here and Zito's like, oh, I have that, please. I'm like, well, that was mine. For sure. Like, like when you looked at Tim Alester's bench, they did have better players on their bench. So why are they playing this Luis Maria guy on there? It doesn't really make any sense. Is he a youngster or is he like a player that's come towards the end of his career and just got really bad? I don't know who it is. I love playing the Captain Your Country mode for this um, camera angle. This camera angle is just so, like, it's good to see what you're actually not seeing when you're playing a normal run, if you know what I mean. Like, you actually see the open spaces a lot better than you do with the normal camera. Just a little side note as well, unrelated side note, I have got my PlayStation 2 working with my capture card, so all the old sports games I, that I own and all the old racing games as well, we can actually go through and play those in the future. Just a little update for you guys as well. I know I do World Cup games pretty much 100% of the time now these days, um, but I am looking to expand the content a little bit more. Half time, 1 0 up against Djibouti, so tackles 1, 3. Um, the rest of the stats don't look that great. Um, completed uh, short passes, 5, and failed a medium pass as well. These stats are really unappealing, really, to the normal, um, like, fubbling eye, I guess. Especially with a 27 rated player. 
Djibouti playing very nicely at the moment. They're knocking the ball around very good. That was a good tackle by Luis Maria. And there's that man in the match back again. I'm trying to get... Actually, getting a man in the match with a 27-rated player would be very good. I know it's only Djibouti. And I know it's only, like, their B team as well. If Djibouti even has a B team compared to their A team. Djibouti free kick on the edge of the box. Let's see if I can try and defend this and get the ball... Out of our box, they're gonna. Oh, that's a good pass, actually. Get in front of that. Oh, he turned me there a little bit. There we go. I got the tackle. No, I didn't. Straight back to Djibouti, and it just goes wide. My tackling wasn't great. Obviously, my tackling status is probably rated like like ten or something. Luis Maria, look at that. He's got two people chasing him. Can I whip this in? Crossed in, and that almost, almost kind of like curved towards the net. Shoot. Oh my god, that was actually curling towards the top corner. The left top corner. I was like, I was getting myself like in that middle position here. He passed it to me. I was like, yeah, go on. And oh, that was so close. The goalkeeper denied me in that play. I mean, that should have been a goal. That would have been great. I think that's the main objective for this gameplay is to try and get a goal. I know I'm playing as kind of like a centre back sort of thing. Well, we won 1-0 against Djibouti in that B international team. Uh, not bad game, really. Not a bad game. I mean, we played okay. We got a better than average rating. Not bad for a 27-rated player. Have a look at the news here. It says, a man in a match performance from Luis Maria inspired Timo Leicester to victory. Yep, there we go. Improvement already. Our second B international game is against the Faroe Islands in our home ground in Timo Leicester. So we'll see how we can do against them. I'd say a better opposition. Faroe Islands are a little bit better than Djibouti. See if we can try and get a goal in this one. That would be the main objective, I feel. Getting man of the match was good last time. Getting uh, a goal in this one is the next thing. We're going to play as a winger. Look at Luis Maria go down the wing. He's slow as anything, but crosses it in. And that's not bad. I mean, it was a decent cross. Oh, I did try to get him over, but nah, it ain't happening. Okay, I'm at the back post here. Maybe I can get a decent header off. Header? Oh, we scored. Okay, I think that was Zito again. Wasn't me. Oh, no, it was Rago with the goal. It looked like Zito because they had the same hair. But that was a good cross. Good corner. A nice little header that didn't even make the goalkeeper move. Now I need to get back in midfield. It's such a strange position this guy plays in. Like, I know he's supposed to be like a CDM sort of like player but it's telling me to get forward most of the time and um it's like well i'm a center back like by like the rating and everything thread the needle there no just go straight back to him that's a really bad pass by the pharaoh goalkeeper but the shot just wasn't there i mean look at this he's just like yeah i'll pass it to you and then i uh, they should have just took a little bit more time <gasps> nurse maria come on you stole it you're slow though, look at how slow this guy is. Get off of me. Go on, turn in on yourself. Crossed in, nobody's there. Come on guys, you got to support me. One minute I've added and we're about to beat the Faroe Islands. So that will be two wins out of two. I didn't perform as well in this match as I did in the last match. This one's just been a bit average. I, I was trying to get in crosses, but the crosses just weren't there. Nobody was there to pick up, like, the easy crosses that I was putting in. But there we go. We won against the Faroe Islands. Two wins out of two. Not bad for this little video. Our third match, then, at home, again, is against San Marino. I didn't expect this fixture. I didn't expect for us to go against San Marino. But these two teams are going to be very well matched. I think that, I don't know in this situation, would San Marino be better than Tim Alesta, or would it be the opposite. Would Tim Alesta be better than San Marino? I feel like it would be a very close game. Corner, Tim Alesta. Come on, whip it in the middle. That's a good ball. A header! Oh, the header was so far off. That was really annoying. So he came into me here and I was like, yeah, that's mine. And I just went straight. It went more to the corner flag than it did the actual net. That touch, see, I didn't even press the sprint button and it went about a mile ahead of me. Like, talk about, like, awful touches. That is probably the worst I've ever seen. Crossed in. And, oh, off the post. I expected the goalkeeper to get this. He came in and, um, oh, 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 it was very close. 
Oh, off the bar by San Marino. And off the bar again. That has to be the worst, like, two shots. Well, the first one wasn't bad. The, the follow-up was even worse because that was an open goal. Like, ball comes in from the cross. That was actually off my own player, if you look. Look, my own player headed it on the bar. So, like, what on earth is he doing? And then this guy is like, I got it. Don't worry, guys. That has to be a goal. Goalkeeper's on the floor. You've got most of the goal to aim at. And it just goes bang off the bar. That is either a scripted moment or San Marino shooting is that poor that they just can't score from two light yards away. My rating sat on 5.8 for the pretty much the first half here. And my coach wanted a 7. So what happens if I don't meet it? Is the game over or something? Is my career over? Oh, decent tackle. Angelino, have a shot. Go on. Oh, unlucky. That was our first shot of the game. Luis Maria, oh, damn it, he missed kicked it in front of goal, what is he playing at? I'm out on the wing again, let's go Maria, let's go. Oh, this guy just gets thrown off the ball, like, every time, he's so weak, I don't think he has any strength. Through ball here, come on, yes, come on, this is like the final chance, oh, thanks for that. Oh, he just jumped over nothing, like, this player is just, like, not brilliant, he, well, obviously he's not brilliant, but, like, oh my god. Can he be any more worse? Yes! That was an assist by me! I crossed it in, and Ari scored in the 90th minute from a Luis Maria cross. Look at this. I don't know if it took a deflection or what. It looked like... I don't know if it was... It wasn't an own goal, but did he actually touch it? That's the thing. Yeah, he did, yes. Just in the 90th minute, I provide the crucial assist against San Marino in this really, really tight game. And it's 1-0. Well, at least we've got an assist. Like, with a guy with, like, I don't know, like, 8 curve. So, literally, that shouldn't have happened. So, I made it onto the squad thanks to that uh, cross. That cross put me up 12 places on the squad. I mean, everybody else is just, like, not even, like, doing that well. I mean, I feel for um, Wow at the bottom, or Wow, whatever his name is. He's at the bottom. He's got minus 15. He was actually performing worse than me. And I was a 27 rated player. And we're going to do one more. This one is against South Korea. We'll do one more because this one's going to be a tough match, honestly. Like, this is one of the best teams in Asia versus one of the worst teams. And I've got one of the worst players. Here we go then, the final match of this video. But the first match of the group stage is against South Korea. And my player, the 27 rated guy, has held his place in the squad thanks to that cross at the end of the game at San Marino. The coach was like, yes. That's enough to keep you on the squad. I'm going to play you against South Korea. Who in their right mind would ever do that? At the moment, I've got a 4.1 rating. That's a really terrible rating. That's way below average. i got 3.8 now. Imagine if I score from like 40 yards out with a 27 rated player. That would be so disgusting. Crossed in. South Korea almost just goes over the bar. That's a good header away. We played well in this first half against South Korea. I mean, usually in real life I would think, I would like to think, that South Korea would be winning by about two or three goals by now. But no, um, yeah, we've held them back. I'll go for it. Oh, it just glided over the bar. And I just thought, well, if it sunk just a little bit, it might have just gone in. Come on. That's not a bad ball if he can get onto it. Oh, he can, but... Oh, that's that's cheating game. He fell over and it didn't really count as a foul. If that was a foul, that would have been a red card. And the potential to get maybe a free kick goal. Is there any hope for this team? Can we actually get something? I mean, we've got a draw. But here comes Maria. Go, oh, go on. Oh, you've got in the way. I was about to shoot and I think my own player. Oh, no, we haven't. Okay, we've got a corner. Let's go. Head that. Just shoot. Just keep shooting until... Ah, oh, okay, well. We drew against South Korea, and that's not a horrible result for us. Like, it's actually a really good one. For them, it's really bad. Um, you would have expected South Korea to beat Tim Leicester by about five or six goals, at least. 
and uh, my 27 rated player doing very well. So if you guys want to see more of this, I can create a series, I guess, on Captain Your Country. I've never really done a Captain Your Country series, but it could be quite fun to try and get this guy to the World Cup. It would be pretty good because he's basically got the skill rating of like the rest of us. So yeah, if you want to see more, give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.